So we're now ready to record some vocal takes. We've identified the desired cycle points. It's 16 bars here from bar 25 to 41. And we'll be recording between those two locators, uh, left and right. And we'll be taking some different takes on this track or maybe another track to demonstrate the take folder. Now we also had a run through to set up the recording and a monitoring level. With the recording level, obviously make sure you never go above zero. If it does, this window here will indicate uh, that you're doing this and it will become red. So with the record enabled, this fader sets up the monitoring level. Please note that Logic has a feature that enables you to set up an independent monitoring level while recording. What it means is this. Uh, I'm deselecting the record enable for the track. And we've also got another level here. You can see that which is our playback level. And when you hit record enable again, we have our monitoring level. This feature is quite useful when you record vocals or any other performance. Quite often performers would like to hear themselves quite loud when they play to make sure it's perfect or as good as it can be anyway. However, when you listen back afterwards by clicking back here, you might want to set up a different level to listen to a bit more in context with the backing track. So I think we're ready to go. OK, so we have our Logic uh, project set up here and uh, I've got the backing track, uh, which I bounced down. We saw that in a previous video. Um, we've also got a vocal track here and uh, we set this up uh, with a bus center reverb. Uh, this is so that uh, Phil or whoever is doing the vocal can feel like they're sitting nicely in the mix, get some kind of effect. It can often um, just, yeah, kind of affect the performance, make them feel more comfortable. So we have that set up and uh, if I just go to the mixer section, uh, you can see that there we have the backing track here and the vocal here. And um, what's really important uh, when we're starting off a vocal session like this is to make sure that the vocalist uh, has a good balance between their vocal, what they're, what they're hearing, and the backing track. So that's normally the first thing we do before we start recording. We just kind of play along uh, to check that's OK. Um, I also have uh, a, a Rhodes set up here, <laughs> just an instrument. This is, I've just put in a note to help Phil uh, for when he comes in with the verse so he can get the right pitch. It's going to help, help his pitch because um, he's actually written something to this backing track. Hey Phil, okay, so um, mm. should we just try kind of cycling round the verse? Yeah. It's quite a long verse, isn't it? Yeah. But if you just, maybe we'll go, we'll go round it um, okay. two or three times. Okay. And uh, then that will just give me some options with the take, uh, take folder, if that's okay. Good, good, good. You give me air so I can breathe I'm wearing your heart that's on my sleeve I'm wearing your heart, I've got something new Got nothing, baby. I pray and hope that you'll be mine. I pray that our love will be just fine. I pray that our love will forever be new. So you can see now that it's gonna it's gonna cycle back round. You give me air so and I even though it looks like it's actually recording I'm on top, your heart that's on it's my actually creating feet. another take. I'm your heart, and uh, you'll I see when it comes around the next new. time that it will actually I got create another nothing, lane. Baby. I pray and hope that you be mine. I hope and I pray that you be mine. I hope and I pray that forever be new. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. So we have our little breathe. triangle here. I'm wearing this is showing that the uh, tape folder feet. is open. And, and you can see it's actually named it for us. Take one, take two, and this next no, one's gonna no. be take three. I hope and pray that you'll be mine. I pray that your love will be just fine. And this would be great I pray when we that come to editing the vocal because we can comp it together you. really nicely. You give me air so I can breathe. I think we'll try one more take. I'm wearing your heart, it's on my sleeve. I'm wearing your heart, I've got nothing to lose. No, no, no. I pray and hope that you'll be mine. I pray that you'll always be just fine. 
I pray that our love will forever be new. Phil, that's great. We've got four takes there. That's sounding really good. Okay, so let's have a look at our comp folder. You'll notice that it's already taken the name uh, Vocal Take 2, Comp A. Uh, you can actually have different comps, Comp A, B and C. If you just click here, you can see uh, we can duplicate this comp. We'll, we'll have a look at that later. You'll also notice that the vocal track I had set up before, I used for him just to put down a guide vocal, just to kind of get him warmed up. So uh, I created another track which I called Vocal Take 2. Uh, so to open or close the comp, we just click on this triangle here. Alternatively, we can double click on it as well. So let's have a listen. You give me air so I can breathe. I'm wearing your heart back. And to listen to a different take, we simply just click on that take. So that was take one. This is take two. You give me air so I can breathe. I'm wearing your take three. heart back on my sleeve. I hope and I pray I die. And you can see it's really seamless. And this region at the top will represent the composite or comp between all those takes below. So this is take one, take two, take three, take four, and so on. And in the next video, we'll demonstrate how to use the quick swipe facility to create a composite. Every two weeks in the course, uh, an assignment is set. So once I've done my assignment, which is essentially a track, I upload it for my tutor to download and he sends me back a DVR, which is a direct video response. It's a video produced by your tutor um, that is sent to you personally every couple of weeks while you're, you're studying, giving you immediate feedback on your production. It's something that enables the students to have a one-to-one -one connection with their tutor. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. And I think this Steel can sound is brilliant. I mean, that's that's a real kind of hook of the track. This. Maybe let's just try uh, recording something in. The response that the tutor gives is completely tailored to the student's style of music or the level that they're at as well. So it might be nice to spice up this drum track by adding a delay and you can see I've put one here in the return of the drum rack and uh, if we just apply that to the clap now, you see it has a really nice effect. If you want to check out the whole range of online courses, go to pointblankonline.net.